Okay, my friends, it's John Gibb here again from HealthyWealthyAffiliate.com. Today I'm going to talk about product trends and in particular keyword related product trends. So I'm going to pick a keyword here as I'm particularly working on a campaign for this one. It doesn't get searched for that many times a month collectively over the five particular keywords that I'm targeting. However, I just want to show you and make you all aware and in particular for niche site formula students that these these numbers here underneath the global search volume change month to month so they're not always going to be exact I am doing a yearly update right now so the data is going to be spot on as regards to what keyword canine comes back with but let me just show you an example of face FX now analyze this keyword now just bear in mind on here on the, on the data what you've got at the moment it says 1600 searches a month if we flick back to keyword canine it's now saying that this what this particular term face fx which is a branded product a health related product gets researched sorry gets searched 1300 times per month at the moment now what's important to be aware of is the trending for this particular term and when i when i refer to trending i mean the past 12 month search volume is it staying stable is it going right down is it you know is it a product that we should drop from each side formula or should it remain and this is very important because if you look here january 13th to 19th 2013 it was around about here so it was still around about the same mark and then it still had interest still had interest still had interest and then it starts to go up which is very interesting and then it goes down a little bit so on the whole it's still staying at around you know 1600 1300 maybe it's even a bit more than 1600 but the point is although the data is coming back different it's still viable and it's still definitely worth promoting due to the, the past 12 months trends in my opinion it spiked up a bit here it might you know stay around there it might go down a bit it might level out what i would be alarmed about is if it had suddenly spiked and for the past few months it was just there was just no traffic whatsoever then if that was the case I wouldn't me personally I wouldn't particularly be interested in promoting that product and you shouldn't be either because obviously if there's no buying intent search for that particular broad product or it's related long tail key terms such as these on the left you know you're not going to make any money if there's no search volume there if we go back to this chart here you can see that collectively just bear with me it just went crazy on me it just collectively here there's still you know well over 2,000 3,000 you know just under 3,000 searches a month which doesn't sound like a lot but they're very targeted and they're all interested in buying this particular product and I'll just load this up in Google just so you guys can see what it is so somebody's basically coming along I'm the searcher now I'm interested in buying this. I just want to show you what this product is. Sorry, it's this one here by Silken. And this is the sales page here. And you can earn some nice commissions on this one. We've already we've already got a site on this particular product, and we've already made some sales on it. So you know, even though it's not doing fantastically well right now, but bearing in mind we're, we're not even on the first page yet for any of the the terms that we're you know gunning for, if you like, it's still making sales. So even even now, we've started link building started link building to this particular site for this campaign. Even now, the fact that it's made some sales shows me that it could be a potential winner so we'll keep going on with the link building campaign and when it's in the top even if it does hundred dollars two hundred dollars three hundred dollars a month this is a nice little learner guys and that's going off search volume which is you know for this particular keyword is only 1300 searches a month so I've had questions saying John what about when there's hardly any search volume is in you know way less than 5,000 because I've said in the past that 5,000 searches is you know a good amount of volume to, to you know to be a viable campaign however you can make money collectively especially when you're going after many different products even if it's way beyond way below 5,000 search volume a month and we'll, we'll pick another keyword here just to show you that this obviously data does change 
when I researched this product it was 260 searches a month now it's probably changed we're in January 2014 I searched this a while back I think it was January 2013 when I started searching all these products people were inside new site formula anyhow I'll analyze this one here and it'll either be up and down up or down and then we'll have a look at the trend data on there as well it's just I'm doing this video because you need to be aware of obviously the trending and how important it is and just because search volume on a term might be less than what it's shown in your charts right now it doesn't mean that that campaign is no longer viable you have to think about the trending and you have to be aware of that obviously on a month-to-month -month basis search volume depending on the markets depending on how much advertising is being done you know depending on any offline campaigns is there media campaigns going on etc etc just because the search volumes went down it doesn't mean that the campaign is not viable you have to look at the collective you know 12 month history or even the past three to six months to get an idea of where you know is this still viable is there still a search volume there on those particular terms now this one as you can see yeah it's now 590 so on here it was only 260 when I researched it so it's actually went up on that particular term we'll just go back to keyword can you and now, if you, and now if you look at the past trend and again it's leveled it's leveled it's leveled so it's still very viable and this is over a 12 month period so if I had have had this out in 2013 over the 12 months and I was ranked highly for it it would have been a nice little asset even if it was just bringing a hundred dollars a month it would be in profit it would be making more than I'm paying for the hosting it would be more making more than I'm paying for the domain name each year that's an asset you know as you make more and more assets you, you know the income builds up passively and there's a little spike here which is interesting so perhaps in this year face FX might be you know it might even have a raise in buyer interest than it did in 2013 so just something to be aware of and um, that's about it guys that's what I wanted to go over and just stress the importance of keyword trending and obviously how important that is for niche site formula and the type of data packs that we're covering on products where there's actual buyer interest people are wanting to buy the products that we're you know, talking about on our websites the, the websites that we're putting up on specific products have interest already which means that we can pre-sell them much easier than we could if somebody was searching on a term you know which has got nothing to do with a product or they're not interested in buying anything they're just searching for information it's, it's a lot harder although it can be done and I have done it in the past it can be a lot harder to convert a type of visitor which is why I've narrowed the focus in niche site formula to focus on buying intent traffic so that we can make money and not waste money when we are ranked or even if we want to run a, a pay-per-click campaign we're going to have a much higher chance of making a sale and getting some commissions and building up some nice commissions month by month and growing our businesses you know by basing it around buyers you know that's that's the whole point and obviously the trending is important so just be aware of if you can if you know you can even use the, the free google trend data here if you haven't got keyword can you and it, it shows you the same type of data which you know where the trend and data has been pulled off from google and keyword can you anyhow and again it just shows you that the campaign is still viable and the fact that it's went up here is interesting to me because i've obviously i've got a website out there on this product now and prom by promoting it right now with links and the good thing is because it's gone up I might make more in 2014 than I would have in 2013 it might only be a little bit more but every dollar counts right so just something to be aware of and how important obviously the overall trending is and not just now you've got to think of the whole collective data as to whether a campaign's still viable or not if this was right down and it was staying down and it was you know completely yeah and, and it, there was no sense for going up it's I would probably pull it from the side from it it wouldn't be a product that I would be interested in promoting based on the past trend or the sudden decrease in trend and is that trend continuing has the search volume for those set of keywords vanished to be honest with you it's rare that that happens obviously when it can happen is if a product's no longer for sale for example which again is rare just because it's pulled down from an affiliate network the chances are you can still promote that product on Amazon which is what I do personally a lot of the times when the product's completely been you know disregarded from the market it's no longer available for sale it's no longer being advertised or promoted anywhere obviously quite suddenly the traffic will start dropping and there will be a decline in the past trend that's when we want to get off that and you know and you know forget about that product and move on which is again another one thing i want to bring up guys while i'm talking here is 
it's important to get on the waves while you can and ride them because some products might not last forever you know for example i've done very well promoting ageless mail but there might be a point where that's pulled off the market or it's, it's no longer able to be promoted for whatever reasons you know but in that time i could have made several thousand dollars you know ten thousand even more on some products 20 30 40 even fifty thousand dollars believe it or not on certain products so just be aware of that when there's high search traffic there and competition isn't crazy get on those products and promote them and make some money okay guys thanks for watching appreciate your time as always and i'll speak to you all soon